Now the next enthalpy is the enthalpy of atomization. Symbol is delta H naught A T. It is defined as amount of heat absorbed. Now you can see that I haven't used the word absorbed or released. It means in case of enthalpy of atomization, there is only one option that energy will always be absorbed. That's why it will always be positive. What is the condition? When one mole of gaseous atoms, this is very important, one mole and gaseous atoms are formed. So the product must be one mole of the gaseous atoms. And what's about the reactant? From the element. So an element must be changed to one mole of its gaseous atoms. In that case, the amount of energy absorbed will be called as the enthalpy of atomization. Under standard conditions. For example, enthalpy of atomization of hydrogen is 218 kilojoule per mole, chlorine is 121 kilojoule per mole. Now the third equation that is very interesting, that in case of sodium, when it is directly changed from solid to gaseous, but one mole of gaseous atoms must be in the product and they must be formed from the element. So in this case, the enthalpy of atomization is 108 kilojoule per mole. Why it is interesting? Because some people say that it is not enthalpy of atomization, it is enthalpy of sublimation. But in this case, both are same. It may be called as the enthalpy of sublimation or you may also call it the enthalpy of atomization. Now, very important point, the enthalpy of atomization is actually half of the bond association energy, in which case, for homonuclear diatomic molecules. Consult from your books that the bond association energy of H2 that is 436 and its enthalpy of atomization is half of its bond association energy. Similarly, in case of chlorine, the bond association energy is 242 kilojoule per mole and 121 kilojoule per mole is the half. Why? Because only we have taken the half mole of the hydrogen and chlorine and the bonds in the half moles are broken. So that's why that is enthalpy of atomization which is half. But if we would have taken one mole of each of hydrogen and chlorine and we must have broken it into the gaseous atoms then that would be called as the bond association energy which is which will be double of the enthalpy of atomization after enthalpy of atomization now the next is the enthalpy of neutralization symbol is delta is not n it is always negative it means it simply means that neutralization is always an exothermic process now when we call the enthalpy as the enthalpy of neutralization when one mole of hydrogen ions react with one mole of OH negative ions to form one mole of water. These one mole of H positive ions they are donated by an acid, one mole of OH negative ion they are donated by a base which is mostly or usually an alkyl, a strong base and one mole of water is formed. It means that the enthalpy of neutralization may also be called as the enthalpy of formation of water from its ions. Now the maximum value of the enthalpy of neutralization is 57.4 kilojoule per mole or 13.7 kilocalories per mole. Obviously that will be negative. And keep one thing in your mind that the enthalpy of neutralization can never be greater than 57.4 kilojoule per mole. It will be less than 57.4 kilojoule per mole for weak acid or base. When one of the reacting species, either acid or base that is weak, then the enthalpy will be less than 57.4 kilojoule per mole. Why? Because some of the energy is used in dissociation of the weak acid or weak base. And it will always remain 57.4 kilojoule per mole for all strong acids and bases. Let me explain this point. Let's suppose we have HCl and NaOH. They are reacting together. And if we have HBr, and KOH, they are reacting together. In both these cases, the enthalpy of neutralization will remain 57.4 kilojoule per mole. Although the nature of the acids and bases, they are different. Here is HCl, HBr, NH, QH. Acids and bases, they are different, but their enthalpy of neutralization will remain same. Why? Because both acids are strong acids and both bases are strong bases are alkalis. So the net chemical change in both cases that will be this one. 
mean HCl and HBr both will donate one mole of H positive ion. NaOH and QH both will donate one mole of OH negative ion, and the product will be one mole of water. So for all acids and all bases, the enthalpy of neutralization, strong acids and bases, the enthalpy of neutralization will remain 57.4 kilojoule per mole. The only reason is that the net chemical change is same. That is the formation of one mole of water from their respective ions. Now, <clears throat> let me give an example to make this idea clear. Suppose that we have two moles of NaOH reacting with one mole of H2SO4. Aqueous form and they form one mole of Na2SO4, which will be written as 2NaSO4 minus 2 plus 2 moles of water. In this particular case, my question is what will be the heat of reaction? When we say heat of reaction, I have already mentioned it that we take stoichiometric amount. So here 2 moles of NaOH and 1 mole of H2SO4, 2 moles of NaOH will yield 2 moles of OH negative ion, 1 mole of H2SO4 will give 2 moles of H positive ion and 2 moles of water will be formed. So in this case the heat of reaction that will be minus 1 1 8 kilos of that is the heat of reaction but when I will say that in this reaction what is the enthalpy of neutralization now in case of enthalpy of neutralization we have already mentioned a condition that one mole of water must be there so when we deal the enthalpy of neutralization now we do not take water as two moles but enthalpy of neutralization is always for one mole of water so that will remain minus 57.5 so that is a difference that if an equation is given and here the two moles of even three moles of water are formed if we will take as the enthal enthalpy of neutralization then it will always be mi minus 57.4 kilojoule per mole why because during enthalpy of neutralization we take only one mole of water in our consideration but if the enthalpy of sorry if the heat of neutralization or heat of reaction is required then we will take the respective moles of water that will be formed in a particular reaction. If one mole is formed, that will remain 57.4. Two moles are formed, it will become double. Three moles are formed, it will become three times of the 57.4 kilojoule per mole.